for so much in this round of breakfast shows. Time now to discuss a very important topic, how people come together and stick together to show support at the times of crisis and how this in particular is manifested in uh, Egyptian Arab relations and particularly Egyptian Saudi relations. Now, uh, Saudi Arabia has been one of uh, the countries, uh, one of the first countries that expressed support to Egypt uh, during the revolution and before that this goes back uh, to history, there has been a mutual cooperation between Egypt and Saudi Arabia as well as Egypt and other uh, Arab African uh, countries, uh, and African countries, but in particular Arab countries uh, throughout history. Uh, following the death of the late Saudi King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz, Egyptians rushed to express their condolences not uh, on the political level, not uh, government to government, but the people uh, themselves. Uh, so this is very important to talk about the perspective of how the people themselves, the people on the social level, they stick together at the time of crisis. In order to uh, talk more about this topic, we're very much delighted and honored to have with us here Dr. Zainab Shaheen, Professor of Sociology and Gender Expert. Good morning to you, Dr. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Zainab. First, uh, we want you to tell us about the nature of relations among Arab nations uh, throughout history. Well, uh, uh, concerning the uh, Arab nations, the Arab region, uh, uh, it is, uh, we, 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 we should best express Arab society because there are so many factors contributing to the uni unity and uh, the uh, uh, coalition of these uh, uh, nations. Uh, for instance, uh, 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 there is the common language, uh, common culture, uh, common history, and also future aspirations. There is a lot in common, and that facilitates interaction and facilitates uh, the feeling of belonging to uh, an entity, to an Arab entity, to an Arab nation. Uh, this also contributes to mutual uh, cooperation, as said, and mutual dependence. And uh, that you said when you said uh, when you expressed that people were uh, uh, contributing to this to the condolences and sharing uh, this event with uh, Saudi Arabia. And I would add that it was really a genuine expression. It was not just a matter of uh, uh, participation, but it really uh, uh, it was a general uh, genuine expression. Yes, because it was a mutual thing, uh, Dr. Zina, because Saudi Arabia, when it first emerged as a country, uh, the Egyptians were the first to go there as teachers, as engineers, as university professors, so the Saudi people, that were on, this, on the level of the people. Yeah. The, uh, there's a whole generation that uh, owes uh, uh, gratitude uh, to the Egyptians. They feel that uh, they have been taught by Egyptians, their country has been built by so many Egypt Egyptians, so there is this feeling of, you know, um, unity of the nation, mutual dependence and cooperation, mm -hmm. but this is very true that Saudi Arabia and we all uh, are aware of this fact, but also Arab countries, there is a common history and there is a common cooperation and mutual dependence and uh, at one time there were uh, nations united with each other and there was this kind of uh, coalition. Mm -hmm. So because of these factors, uh, similar culture, same culture, more or less uh, language, religions, so it uh, contributes to the solidarity of this region and therefore general expression of feelings and emotions in, in crisis. Mm. And the case of, um, case in point is that of Saudi Arabia. Mm. So in your opinion, how can we preserve this solidarity among Arab nations? Well, uh, besides this cultural factors that I mentioned, which is a very important parameter for solidarity. Uh, there is mutual economic, military, and political interest. If these interests are realized and as working in the favor of both entities or entities involved, this would contribute to further unity and further uh, uh, interdependence. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Zina, we can talk more about uh, the people and the Egyptians and uh, the peoples of the region, of the, the Middle East region. How do you see uh, mutual cooperation, mutual understanding between the peoples themselves? Away from politics, away from the uh, official... Uh, within each state or... Uh, yes, within each state. Well, uh, dependence is... There is a very important requirement of mutual interdependence and uh, relationship, as you have just mentioned. Uh, that both parties are really 
benefiting from this relationship. We don't want to have exploitive kind of relationship where the, the, those who have means exploit, those who don't have means, so this kind of relationship does not lead to a uh, genuine expression of uh, unity and solidarity. Mm -hmm. So it has to realize the interest of whatever parties involved, mm -hmm. whether uh, economic uh, interest, political interest, or uh, military interest, there must be some kind of benefit the mm. people involved, it, it, it doesn't work that one party is benefiting and the other is being taxed for this kind of a relationship. And the more exploited relationship, the less unity and the less feeling of belonging and uh, uh, you know, involvement in this, with this country uh, or with this group of people is mm. realized. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you explain uh, the popularity of late King Abdullah uh, on uh, Arab uh, uh, people and uh, did, did, in your opinion, uh, did he succeed in uniting all Arabs together? Well, absolutely, and, uh, and the fact is the, the, the expression, the genuine expression of people, uh, and, uh, uh, expression on the part of pe uh, the masses, yes. expression on the part of the regime, all this manifests how much he put for Egypt and how much he coalited with Egypt's interest and, and, and contributed to uh, and sided uh, Egypt in different crises, in different uh, periods where Egypt needed uh, this kind of Yes, support. in 1973 war, he yeah. supported Egypt and in many yeah. other occasions. Mm -hmm. And I really, the thing that touched me most is that of their genuine expression, the people's genuine expression, uh, groups' genuine expressions, regimes in genuine expression. So it was really uh, authentic and, and genuine. Okay, uh, we have a special report about uh, the late king, uh, Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. We will watch the report and we will provide back. Stay with us.